Welcome to Transcend Awards. Prioritize infection immunity. Your learning objectives are to understand the immune system, to understand the impact of wellness dimensions on immunity, and to understand how to boost your immune system. Once you know these, you can make good decisions as an ethical citizen to make sure you maintain optimal wellness levels, especially during an infection pandemic. Infection immunity, immune system defined. The immune system is made up of body cells and proteins that work together to protect the body against infections. The immune system helps us to stay healthy, prevent and recover from illness, fight disease and infection. Immune system defined. Infections enter the body through invaders which attack the body to make us ill. The immune system keeps a record of every germ that it has ever defeated. This means that it can recognize and destroy the germ quickly if it enters the body again. Unfortunately, health problems in the immune system can lead to diseases and other illness. Herd immunity defined. When most of a population is immune to an infectious disease, it provides indirect protection. This is known as herd immunity and protects those who are not immune to the disease. For example, if 80% of a population is immune to a virus, four out of every five people who encounter someone with the disease won't get sick and won't spread the disease any further. In this way, the spread of infectious diseases can be kept under control. This is not easy to achieve and 70% to 90% of a population needs immunity to achieve herd immunity. Herd immunity can be achieved through vaccinations. For infections without a vaccine, the development of immunity may occur when a significant number of people have already survived the infection. Unfortunately, this is not guaranteed. New strains of infection are continuously developing. The best way to avoid and fight infection is through excellent hygiene, social distancing, and by looking after your immune system and overall wellness. What does boost mean? To boost your immune system means that you are making healthy lifestyle choices every day. These choices will help your immune system to have the best possible chance to prevent, fight or recover from illness or infection. It is your duty as an ethical citizen to maintain a healthy immune system to help fight infection and reduce pressure on the health services. What can I do to boost it? You can boost your immune system by making good lifestyle choices to develop wellness. As an ethical citizen, you have a duty to keep well. Here are the five wellness factors that you should focus on. Physical wellness, mental wellness, social wellness, emotional wellness, and environmental wellness. By completing regular activities to develop your wellness in all of these areas, you can boost your immune system. So let's look at these now. Physical wellness. Physical wellness on immunity. Physical wellness is defined as much more than focusing on illness Physical wellness refers to the development of healthy habits such as medical checks, immunizations, regular sleep patterns, 
balanced diet, daily exercise. These are all fundamental components of physical wellness. It is also important to avoid risky behaviours such as drinking alcohol, smoking tobacco and taking drugs which have not been prescribed by a doctor. Physical wellness is essential to a healthy immune system. The simplest way to develop physical wellness is to get lots of sleep, eat a balanced diet, drink lots of water, participate in regular exercise. These are the components we will focus on. Sleep impact on immunity. Sleep has a significant impact on the immune system. Studies show that people who don't get quality sleep or enough sleep are more likely to get sick after being exposed to a virus such as a common cold. Lack of sleep can also affect how fast you recover if you do get sick. The National Sleep Foundation confirms that without sufficient sleep, your body makes fewer cytokines. This is a type of protein that targets infection and inflammation. Cytokines are produced and released during sleep. Chronic sleep loss can even cause the flu vaccine to be less effective by reducing your body's ability to respond. Without the right amount of quality sleep, it can prevent your ability to create an immune system response to fight illness and infection. Diet impact on immunity. Diets, which are well balanced, have a significant and positive effect on the immune system. A well-balanced diet can help to prevent certain long-term chronic diseases such as heart disease, stroke and diabetes. It may also help to reduce risk of developing some cancers. The combination of a healthy diet and regular exercise can also help to maintain a healthy weight. Certain foods can actually weaken the immune system. Eating or drinking too much sugar impacts on the immune system cells that attack bacteria. This effect lasts for at least a few hours after drinking sugary drinks. Eating more fruits and vegetables which are rich in nutrients such as vitamin C, vitamin E, beta carotene and zinc have the opposite effect and can optimize your ability to fight infection. Dehydration also impacts negatively on the immune system. It reduces the overall volume of blood and lymphatic fluids that are integral in a healthy immune system response. Dehydration and inflammation causes further impairment of one's immune system and can contribute to what's called autoimmune diseases. To prevent dehydration, all you need to do is to drink lots of water. Exercise impact on immunity. Exercise has a positive effect on the immune system. Physical activity may help flush bacteria out of the lungs and airways. This may reduce your chance of getting a cold, flu, other illnesses. Exercise causes change in antibodies and white blood cells, WBC. WBCs are the body's immune system cells that fight disease. Research confirms that to have the best effect, exercise should be regular to strengthen the immune system and help the body fight off infections and viruses. Physical wellness. What is it and how do I boost it? Physical wellness is where you need to sleep well, eat a healthy diet and exercise. Boost tips for sleep. Sleep for 8 to 10 hours each night. Sleep well by listening to calming music. Sleep and wake at the same time each night and each morning. Boost tips for diet. Eat 5 portions of fruit and vegetables each day. Eat less sweet treats and replace with fruit. 
Drink eight glasses of water each day. Boost tips for exercise. Exercise for 60 minutes each day. Exercise for fitness and skills. Exercise in mornings and afternoons for energy. Mental wellness. Intellectual wellness impact on immunity. Mental wellness is also known as intellectual wellness and is defined as active participation in learning, cultural and community activities. The benefits are significant as it builds confidence, creates a growth mindset and a positive mental attitude. The immune system can be impacted negatively by stress. Research has confirmed that people with a growth mindset generally have lower levels of the stress hormone. These results were thought to occur because those with a growth mindset are more resilient in that they don't take setbacks to mean that they will never succeed. Instead, they see them as temporary and as an opportunity to learn. It is also thought that people with a growth mindset and positive attitude are more likely to discuss key issues with others and are able to identify strategies to overcome challenges. The University of Queensland's research confirms that people who focused on positive information were more likely to have stronger immune systems. Mental wellness. What is it and how do I boost it? Mental wellness is where you think well, make good decisions and problem solve and have a positive attitude. Positive attitudes can help your immune system. To boost your mental wellness, there are lots of activities you can do. Here are some boost tips. Completing organizing games like jigsaws. Participating in problem solving games like Cluedo. Listening to music and playing musical instruments. Reading and writing engaging stories. Playing word games like Scrabble and Boggle. Learning a new language. Completing puzzles like word searches and Sudoku. Even doing your daily work. Emotional wellness. Emotional wellness impact on immunity. Emotional wellness is defined as the ability to be aware, understand, and be able to control your emotions. It is the ability to respond to challenges, change positively, and to be resilient. Emotional wellness has the ability to impact significantly on our mood, anxiety, and stress levels. Emotional wellness means that you are able to manage stress and anxiety in a positive way. While intellectual or mental health relates to the functioning of the mind, Emotional health is more about our approach to life, happiness, relaxation, satisfaction, and control. Research confirms that too much anxiety or stress can weaken the immune system dramatically. The prolonged release of the stress hormone, called cortisol, can lead to constant tissue breakdown and impairment of the immune system. Researchers have found a wealth of evidence that positive emotions can enhance the immune system while negative emotions can suppress it. Negative emotions lead to a profound change in the immune system, making us more likely to pick up a bug. Emotional wellness, what is it and how do I boost it? Emotional wellness is where you feel in control, happy, and you are not anxious or stressed. You may not feel happy all the time, as emotional wellness means you know what makes you angry, stressed, or anxious, and you can manage this in a way to help yourself smile again. To boost your emotional wellness, there are lots of activities you can do. Here are some boost tips. Yoga or breathing exercises. Keeping a mood chart or emotions diary. 
muscle relaxation exercises and talking to people about feelings. Social wellness, social wellness benefits. Social wellness is defined as our ability to interact with others and the ability to build positive and lasting relationships. Our relationships can offer support during difficult times. Social wellness has the ability to optimize the immune system. People who have strong social network tend to live longer. People with strong social networks are associated with a healthier endocrine system and a healthier cardiovascular functioning. People with healthy relationships have better heart and blood pressure readings and respond better to stress. People with healthy social networks have a better ability to fight off infectious diseases. Social wellness, what is it and how do I boost it? Social wellness is where we have lots of positive relationships and communicate well. This can be with family, friends, colleagues. To boost your social wellness, there are lots of fun activities you can do. Here are some boost tips. Playing games with family and friends. Completing team challenges. Keeping in touch on the phone, social media, or by writing letters. Saying nice things to people and being kind. Environmental wellness. Environmental wellness impact on immunity. Environmental wellness is defined as living a lifestyle that is respectful of our surroundings by embracing and living in harmony with the earth and by taking action to protect it. Environmental wellness promotes interaction with nature and requires you to consider a healthy lifestyle in your home and work environment. Environmental wellness has the ability to optimize the immune system. Research indicates that a clean and pollution-free environment can help the body to maintain a healthy immune system. It is widely known that coal miners who experience extensive exposure to coal mine dust cause the spectrum of lung diseases. It is also well known that damp and mold in the home can lead to respiratory problems, respiratory infections, allergies or asthma. Similarly, bacteria in houses and workplaces can lead to infection. In all cases, poor environmental wellness will compromise the immune system and ability to fight infection. Environmental wellness, what is it and how do I boost it? Environmental wellness is where we appreciate the outdoor environment and help it. It is also about our indoor environment and our lifestyle. To boost your environmental wellness, there are lots of activities you can do. Here are some boost tips. Wash hands for 20 seconds regularly throughout the day. Wash yourself every day to keep germs away. Spend time outside as the sunlight is the best source of vitamin D. Open windows and let natural air come into your home. Keep a social distance from others who are ill or who may carry infection. This means that you need to stay at least two meters away. Recycle rubbish and turn lights and electrical sources off when not in use. Make sure you clear play areas of clutter to prevent accidents. Wipe down your play areas and games after each use to stop germs. Thank you for watching. Feel free to watch as many times as you need or move on to the next part of your digital learning experience on your list.